Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela Omari. If you have never seen my face before, but if you have, hey friend, welcome back. It is actually a Sunday and it is 11 13 a.m. And y'all know Sundays for me are all about Sunday resets. And also this happens to be the last Sunday of the month. So which also means monthly reset. I'm just getting it all done early. So today we're going to be preparing for the new month, deep cleaning, goal setting, cleaning our cars, doing our laundry, just getting our lives together so that we can walk into the new month with great energy intentions a clean space and everything like that honestly you should treat every new month like it's the new year and that's what I like to do you know just get everything clean make sure I you know take care of myself treat myself clean my car just get everything all clean I don't know that could just be a me thing it is 11 14 a.m. I've been up since 8 o'clock y'all I literally did my makeup wiped it off redid it still didn't like how it came out but just kept it on did my lashes did my hair I was honestly feeling like I didn't even want to continue to film because my mood is so bad also I haven't ate which is crazy because I woke up at 8 normally I would be out the house on my way to go eat by like 9 30 so I'm kind of like in a grumpy mood but I know once I eat I'll be fine so that's why I'm just like you know what discipline girl discipline you might not want to do it but you have to do it and that was one of my new year's resolutions just to be more disciplined with myself I actually have a whole to-do list on my phone of the certain things that I need to do I feel like my monthly reset this month isn't really that big nor is it really ever that big I just just try to get like the basic stuff done and also on top of that just treat myself which we're going to do a whole little self-care night tonight i feel like i deserve it so that's what we're going to do so i want to obviously clean my room clean my bathroom go to the car wash because my car is so dirty i have not cleaned my car let's see when is the last time i cleaned my car probably over a month and y'all know i don't play like that ever since i got my k5 i've been keeping up with cleaning my car because that's just my girl and i want to you know damn i'm scrolling real far last time i cleaned my car was the beginning of january so normally i go every two weeks and <laughs> i haven't been so i'm gonna go get my coffee because i know that's what i need in my life right now if i don't want to keep feeling like absolute shit so we're gonna go to duncan get our coffee you know do all the things as always i actually had a video that was supposed to go up today because if y'all don't know my posting schedules are thursdays and sundays but i decided to just scrap the video it was was the day when I got my nails done and everything like that that I really wanted to show y'all but if I don't like that content I just don't want to put it out January for me wasn't all that I wanted like I literally got a copyright strike I couldn't post for a week and it just kind of threw everything off for me so February is my new year we're gonna pretend February 1st is January 1st because I feel like January always got a little bit of stuff from last year in it it's just inevitable and I'm telling myself like it's okay it's really not that serious like we're still like you know so I find that I'm very hard on myself especially when i set goals for myself you know what we're gonna try again and when you're watching this it's actually february 1st so happy first of the month wake up <laughs> uh, uh, it's the first of the month i'm gonna go ahead and throw my glasses on because your girl cannot drive without them i can but i just prefer not to because you know i want to make sure that i'm seeing everything also one thing about me when i'm driving my car in the morning time if y'all have a k5 or like any car that got like yellow or orange lights on them i recommend y'all turn it off y'all lights like the white lights so that just the orange lights show and that shit looks so hard in the daytime like when you riding around and it's just the orange lights no white lights no nothing that shit looks so hard so if you got a k5 and you want to look like that bitch when you driving in the daytime turn your lights off but your orange lights will still like what's the word shine glow light up i don't know so i got my coffee today i got a medium iced coffee with three pumps caramel swirl two pumps toasted white chocolate and three creams recently i've been kind of like switching up my coffee trying to find out what it is that i actually like like sometimes i get cold foam sometimes i don't but i know i'm getting old because i think my three pumps caramel and three pumps vanilla bean is just getting a little bit too sweet for me so that's why i try only five pumps this time to see if i like it um, I probably should have gotten it with cold foam and that would have like made it a little bit sweeter, but actually this is perfect. 
I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in so long because recently when I've been recording, I've like been trashing those videos. I really love my outfit today. Everything is from Target. I got this stuff literally yesterday. I don't know what you what type of material you would call this, but these little long sleeves and they're not cropped or anything. They're from Target. They're like $16 a piece and their material is so good. The only one that they had in my size was this white one though at my Target. So hopefully they restock and I can get like a black one and a brown one and they also had a pink one, but they didn't have those other three colors in my size i also got some new leggings because target leggings are just bomb.com and y'all know i love my yoga pants especially the ones from target they're only 20 dollars a pair and they're just super cute and they're also so comfortable i have a black pair and a gray pair already so now i just added olive green to the collection also y'all it's literally 73 degrees in my city in my last video i was just complaining about how it was so cold and 50 degrees now it's 73 degrees like two days ago it was touching 80 degrees I'm not even kidding y'all and that's why I say like living in North Carolina you can experience every season in one week I've literally been feeling so good with the weather like all warm I took Coda to go get a bath I took him to tractor supply and tractor supply some tractor my camera literally overheated because it's so hot outside like I'm in the car with the AC on it is 1203 I've been sitting here this is like my daily routine I just come to Duncan eat my donuts have my coffee and just sit here and chill and relax it's just something that i have to do i feel like it's just a part of my morning routine and i honestly feel so much better now that i have my me time i think after this i'm gonna just go ahead and head to the car wash and just go ahead and get it out the way i was gonna wait until tomorrow because on the forecast it said it was supposed to rain today but i don't even think it is and then even if it does rain i could just run through all over again and right now while it's like the peak weather outside yeah, i might as well just go ahead and go and get it over with that way like i'm not cold while i'm doing it plus it's not that cold outside so i'm gonna just go ahead and run through like my car is dusty as hell y'all i haven't had a car wash in a long ass time like i told y'all and then like i was trying to tell y'all before my camera cut off and overheated i took Cody to the tractor supply so i could like bathe him myself because i just don't want to give him anxiety i just feel like he wouldn't do well in that setting like coda is very friendly and coda is my dog by the way he's very friendly with people but like even when I was trying to like dry him off he was acting a fool so I don't want to put that on some somebody else and then plus it's only nine dollars and 99 cents they supply the shampoo the brushes everything only thing you have to do is bring your dog and it's only 9.99 so if y'all don't want to pay like 30 40 dollars to get y'all dogs groomed and y'all want to like just do it yourself I recommend going to a tractor supply near you seeing if they have like the dog pet washing station and if you can go there definitely do that and then I think my mom told me something like on your third time going you get one free and I want to start taking Coda to get a bath at least once a month because he is fucking stinky like coda loves going outside playing outside he's such a boy dog like he's such a boy he's rough he likes to get dirty so i'm gonna start taking him at least once a month and i took him the other day he did really good the only thing about it is that now i have dog hair like all over my car because he sheds a lot and then he was in the back seat we had a towel down so you really can't see but there is like pet hair and then like this middle console on my car is just dirty i think i'm gonna just go ahead and wash my car the only thing about it is that i forgot my tripod at home so i might run back home to go grab that that way i can get the angles for y'all this is gonna be my second time washing my car and like cleaning it out all by myself okay, so hopefully i can get it done you know quicker these are the type of things that you need a man for and i was gonna get a man to do it for me but <laughs> I'm gonna probably sit here for like a couple more minutes. I'm just chilling to be honest. I've been posting on my TikTok spam. If y'all don't follow my TikTok spam, a lot of y'all probably don't. Only got like 400 followers. One of my videos on my spam literally got like almost 10,000 views. I'm not gonna show y'all, but for this to be my spam page, I feel like the don't look at my drafts my views are really good like so yeah that's my tea i'm gonna hit y'all up later when i'm leaving here my coffee is really good today so i think this is gonna be my new like order i'm just chatting it up because i've been missing talking to y'all hold on all i gotta do is put my mind to this shit i just ran back home to let coda outside feed him and then i also went and got my tripod and now i'm on my way to the car wash so i can wash my car it feels so nice outside i might take coda to the dog park and just let him play for a little bit because he was so excited to be outside um when i just let him out but i had to obviously like put him back in the house because i have to go so i might take him to the dog park and then i also think i want to go get boba maybe later today because it's just it just feels good outside and if y'all don't know i'm just a drink type of girl like i love having a good bev and i drank all of my coffee so traffic is so bad right now i don't know why so 
hold on let me at the light i was just thinking like i love being a girl i wouldn't even know what to do with myself if i was a boy like i was just sitting at the red light bumping my music in my nice car reapplying my lip combo like it's just such a good feeling to be a girl such a good day to be a girl i love being a girl it's just something about it and if you're not a girl i feel so bad for you but yeah i need to you know put my mind to this shit because i'm driving and i need to try to get to the other lane and we in like bumper to bumper traffic so i'll see y'all when we get to the car wash It took me probably like an hour, but I really got my car good. She got a good clean. So, oh, like my hands are literally ashy. I literally wiped down every single surface because everything had dog hair on it. But now it feels so good in here. My hands are so dry. I wish they had like a hand washer so I can wash my hands. But I'm gonna just put some hand sanitizer on with some lotion. Um, I'm gonna actually run into, oh my God, I got hand sanitizer on my pants. But I'm gonna actually run into Walmart because it's right beside where I'm at. And I need to get some like carpet stuff. Like you know the carpet cleaner that you use and normally you vacuum it up um, to like make the carpet, you know, like deodorize the carpet because Coda has my carpet smell like Fritos. Like when I tell y'all Coda was stinking so bad, he was stinking so bad. And I feel like every night when I'm trying to go to sleep, I smell Fritos when I turn towards my carpet and I just don't like that. So I'm gonna try to clean it and then if it like doesn't deodorize it or whatever, I'm gonna just throw it away and probably buy a new one. Um, but I haven't had that carpet for a while. It's not like stained up or anything. It just smells like dogs because I have a dog and Coda likes to lay all over the carpet after he comes from outside and everything like that. Coda is just, like I said, he's a boy. So he fucking stinks, literally. Y'all know every time I come here, they give me a air freshener. This one is number three because they all have different numbers and i think number three was my favorite one um yeah between number two or number three and like there's so many people at the car wash oh my god like i've been here for like an hour literally nobody that's here right now was here when i got here mm, this smells really good that's my tea i'm so out of breath but yeah let's go it is 1 48 so basically two o'clock i want to get boba but i just want to do it when the sun is still out so we need to go ahead and get our cleaning done and recently the sun has been like going down just a little bit later like now it's starting to go down at five instead of four so i'm so happy about that because that means summer is around the corner the day is about to start getting longer and it's about to get warmer outside let me go ahead into walmart or am i going to dollar tree y'all think i should go into dollar tree i might go into dollar tree So messed up because it is so windy outside and i just got back in the house because i was letting Coda play outside and he be playing with the kids in the neighborhood so if you hear him panting that's why because he just had the zoomies i just came back from the store so i'm gonna show y'all everything that i got i really just got cleaning products because i need to clean y'all i need to clean so don't mind my dirty laundry in the back because my mom actually has laundry for me to fold and put away I want to get this done in no more than an hour. It's 2.33 right now. I want to be back out the house at least by 4 to go get boba from Dollar Tree. I just got this little scrubber. I'm going to use this to scrub my shower because it needs a good deep clean. So, <laughs> yeah. Then I also got some Fabuloso because I'll put this in the toilet. I'll put this on the sink. I'll put this in the shower to clean with because it's just so universal. So, yeah, you can even put it on the floor to mop with. So, I just got Fabuloso. Then, I just got this Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator. 
Um, I got this from Dollar General because they didn't have any like carpet cleaner in Dollar Tree. I'm gonna actually pour this on the carpet right now, let it sit before I like sweep it up a little bit. And then after that, I'm gonna do my laundry, wipe down my surfaces, clean the bathroom, probably go get some bubble, and then we're gonna come back and then like chill, relax, do all that extra stuff. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my room. dirty clothes so I'm gonna go put these in the dirty clothes and then I'm gonna go get all the and then I'm gonna go get all the clean clothes from out my mom's room so BRB Ugh. this was all the laundry and my mama like come get your clothes come get your clothes okay <laughs> I finished right on time well I've actually been done but I had to go clean up Coda's mess because he bit up his bed that was in his cage so I had to go clean up all the fluff and that took forever because it kept getting stuck to the broom but my whole room is clean I put up my clean laundry I cleaned my shower my toilet my sink wiped down all my stuff made my bed everything so everything is spotless I'm done with the cleaning aspect for my monthly reset and I'm literally so happy about that because y'all um like when I say hot finna pass out and I feel like it's like 80 degrees in his house because my mama keep the heat on but yeah i'm about to go get boba but before i go i wanted to show y'all like a low key what's in my bag in my last video i told y'all how i wanted to get a new purse and y'all ever since i got this purse i literally feel like that girl i went to marshall's and this was only 30 dollars and it's a little steve madden bag and i really like it because it has my initials on it because my name is michaela scott even though it's backwards but but it's just a little steve madden bag and it comes with this thick strap it also came with a thin strap but i like the thick strap better and then it comes with this little pouch on the side that you can like put your cards in but i still just have the styrofoam in it because i don't want to put anything in here but i want to show y'all what's in my bag all right so i'm gonna just dig in and pull stuff out it also has a little latch and the inside it looks so junky first i have my elf lip oil in the shade rose envy because this is what i use for my lip combo the one that i have on my lips then i have my brown eyeliner that i use to line my lips also for my lip combo just these two have been my lip combo the only thing that i don't like about these elf lip oils is that when they're on their side they like spill out everywhere like my bed sheets has pink lip gloss everywhere all over it because of this then next i have my wallet i have this thick ass wallet i want to find a cute little thin wallet but it's just my wallet it has cards in here and change and all that other stuff then i have loose bills because i've been carrying cash because i took cash out like a couple days ago and i low-key like having cash because it's just like free money so when i bought them cleaning supplies today when i bought my duncan today i used cash so it was all free i'm gonna use this to go get boba then i have my car keys i like to keep these in my purse since my car's push to start as long as they're like in the car or around me and they're in my bag i don't have to hold them because i can just press the little button on my door to unlock it as long as the keys are near then i have a camera battery because you gotta stay stocked then i have another elf lip oil this is just a clear one i have my airpods i put these in my purse because tomorrow i plan to go to the coffee shop and edit and i need these to be charged and i forgot them the last time i went because they're no longer on my keys because my little keychain thing broke so they kept falling off my keys then i have a pack of gum which only has one left this was in my car but then i just put it in my purse so i can have something in here but it's only one piece left so i need to go get another one then i literally have my insurance card <laughs> from when i went to the doctor like, i really need to give it back to my mom so i'm actually gonna do that because she thinks whenever i have stuff like this i just lose it i don't even have my social security card my mom won't give it up i don't even have my birth certificate my mom won't give it up she's like oh you better go print you a new one i want the original it's literally my identity i want the original copy but she's not gonna let me have it that's all that's in my purse i feel like i'm carrying around straight necessities so i love that for me
all right y'all so i just left out a mellow tea and i got my boba that i always get it's the strawberry lemonade with strawberry popping boba so it's not like boba milk tea because i don't really like that type of boba i don't know when they start putting strawberry chunks in it they ain't never did that before it's real good and it's starting to get cold out now it's um it done dropped down to 60 degrees and it looked like it's gonna rain that's my tea i just want to update y'all and if y'all have a mellow tea near y'all 10 out of 10 recommend brown skin tatted up because I'm the truth. All right, y'all. So I just made it back home from getting my boba, and I also got Bojangles, but I low key, not even low key, I high key wasted my money because the only thing I ate was the mac and cheese because the tenders were just. Mm -mm. I have a weird thing about chicken. I, I just couldn't do it. So. I wasted my money on Bojangles, but that's okay. I'm feeling full. I still got my boba to sip on, but I'm low-key ready to wind down. It's only 6 o'clock. Well, it's 5.48 to be exact. And I want to do a little face mask and, like, just be cute, see, do a little self-care night. But I need to go ahead and switch out my calendar from January to February. I also need to go set, write down what goals I want to accomplish, and then I'm going to write down my posting schedule. I have it written down on my phone already, but I always like to transfer into my actual planner. That way, I have one on paper and I have one in my phone. Although I don't even really look at my paper planner like i'm look at it once a month and that's when i'm writing the first stuff down but i want to be better i want to be better all right y'all so now it is time for me to wind down i didn't record me changing my calendar because i just I just didn't feel like it. Y'all have seen it a billion times. I'm just rewriting everything that I just wrote. Now I'm about to do my little skincare routine. So I wanted to show y'all like my updated skincare routine, even though nothing really changed. Well, actually, yeah, it has changed. My products changed. I got a PR package from Verst. So I've been using some of their products. I've been using the Verst Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This basically like melts my makeup off of my face. And I've been doing like a new little makeup look. Well, by new, I mean, I just started this two days ago. I always start off by taking out my nose ring and washing my hands. And then I just go in with the Versed Day Dissolve. And I do this while my hands are wet. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like the consistency of coconut oil. If y'all can see the makeup, it's melting. I'm pretty sure like after you wipe this off, you could stop here. But when I wear makeup, it's the only days that I use this. And then on days where I wear makeup, I also double cleanse. So I wipe this off and then I go in with another cleanser. So after all the cleansing balm is wiped off, I go in with my regular face wash that I use in the morning and stuff. This is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This is very gentle on my skin. Ever since I started using this, I've seen such improvement with my skin because how gentle it is. And this is like my everyday cleanser. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I don't even have a nighttime skincare routine unless I'm wearing makeup and it'll be this routine. But in the morning, all I do is just wash my face with the Cetaphil Cleanser. So now it is time for moisturization because like I told y'all, my skin is very dry and it always needs moisture. So I use Aquaphor sometimes really when I'm feeling like it. I prefer to use it at night for like a technique called slugging where you just put like Aquaphor or Vaseline on your face and it just makes your face very smooth. And I realize when I sleep with Aquaphor on my face, my skin is just beautiful in the morning. Like it's so soft, it's so moisturized. So if you haven't had Aquaphor or you haven't tried Aquaphor, especially if your skin is really dry, try it. But I know some people don't like having a greasy face. For me, I prefer it. I love to look like a glazed donut. I'd rather look like a glazed donut than look dry and like crusty. My next product is the first Skin Soak Rich Moisturizer Cream. So sometimes I'll do just this or just Aquaphor or sometimes I'll do both. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Today, I'm feeling like I need both. Just apply a little bit of this on top of Aquaphor. And because Aquaphor is so thick, you don't really need much of this. Yeah, that is my little skincare routine. Right now, it is time for me to get in the shower. I'm so excited to take a shower. I feel so dirty. I've been cleaning, running around all day. So I'm about to take my shower and then I'll be back to y'all after I get out. All right, y'all, so I'm now out the shower and I'm ready to lay down, wind down, chill out, relax. But I got these um, Topicals Brightening and Clearing Eye Mask. I got these in a Fab Fit Fun box and I haven't used them. So I wanna try, oh, it comes with like 
multiple different packs. So basically you apply to clean under eye area for 15 minutes, two to three times a week. And I guess after you use them, you just throw them away. And one thing about me and these eye bags, they need a good brightening. I like the jelly feel. Oh, that feels so good. And while these sit up here for the next 15 minutes, I'm just gonna chill, I'm just gonna relax. And literally that's all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell because we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers. And I love that for us. So yeah, I love you and I'll see you next time.